Uh, this is Bob Smith from Yachtcom and uh, we're now looking at the ICOM M802 with the M80141 and so the top of the box there you can see uh, some cables as they've been supplied uh, to us from Salcom Marine. OK, we've taken the tuner out of the box and uh, on one end of it you've got uh, the aerial connection uh, they're quite straightforward and uh, on the other end you've got two connections one is the antenna uh, and the other one is the control cable going back to the tuner and it's quite a sturdy well made waterproof box uh, from ICOM uh, at the uh, other end of the ICOM 801ATU we've got uh, an aerial connection that simply goes on and screws up and if you're doing this on board your boat obviously you'd need to put some amalgam tape uh, to stop the water from getting uh, in onto that connection and uh, I've already connected the ground uh, do make sure the ground wire is also connected uh, this is a four core screen cable uh, and those two connections are simply snapped together like that so now we've got our AT141 uh, wired up, aerial on one side, our ground, our control cable and our coax cable ready to go Looks into that socket uh, and this lead supplied by Salcom Marine out the box from Icon it doesn't come with a NMEA lead uh, for connecting to your GPS. Uh, this socket here is uh, going to the control head, so this goes round to the control head. It doesn't matter which way round this one goes, uh, one plugs in there, the other one plugs there. Uh, connecting a pack tumbler down to this radio, so the uh, remote socket uh, plugs into that socket there. And uh, the other lead we need to connect is the ACC lead. Uh, lead's clearly marked and that pushes into there. So those two sockets go off to our Pactal modem. That one's going off to uh, the speaker. This one's going off to the control head. And this is the NMEA GPS uh, input. And that's how easy it is to wire up an ICOM M802.